I chose male and educate because it was important to me. We come out in memory of my mother and it was a charity very dear to her. So it's fantastic arriving and just seeing how friendly everybody is and meeting everybody on the plane and just being part of a huge global community that's going to be doing this. Well I think I've never done anything like this before. To be part of something that makes a tangible in impact is enormously exciting. It's um, really looking forward to getting stuck into it, really am. Uh, we're, we have constructed uh, 11 classrooms, a kitchen unit and three blocks of toilets to help these children to a better education. We're up to now, they've just been in these temporary classrooms which are totally unsuitable and all of this will just help all of these children to a very good education in the future. It's great to see you guys because you make us happy and you're very kind. And you built us a school! Well, I didn't really know what to expect for coming out. Like, it's hard to tell. I've seen pictures, but like, you really have to experience it in, in real life. Like, you have to smell it, you have to taste it, you have to, like life inside a shack, like it's, it's not like in pictures, like you actually have to walk into the shack, meet the families and see how they're experiencing life, like oh, definitely, like it really opens up your eyes, like I'd re recommend to anyone, like um, it's a life changing experience, like it. Hi, I'm Grace, I'm at Marine Primary School, so today we have been revamping the toilets, so before they weren't the greatest, but they're starting to get there, so as you can see. It's just, it's been one of those things I've wanted to do um, and when I heard about the charity, something, you know, education is so important, so just to give give a little bit back to make sure that they've got an education. We know that like, by building the school and everything, we're giving them like, more chances in later life. shouldn't be a thing. It's like it's not even imaginable. Like, whenever you think about it before you go in and you kind of imagine what it will look like, it's just not what it is. Like it's not what you think it's gonna be. It's ten times worse. Seven people living in three rooms. There aren't even real rooms, there's just like one bed. Um, it's been a fantastic time. We've worked very hard. Um, it looks amazing what the team have achieved. The team have achieved more than I think uh, would almost seem possible. Um, but it's been a fantastic achievement. I've never seen so many people with so many smiles, and you know we've been very lucky to experience this. I wasn't quite sure what to expect when I arrived here in Cape Town on Sunday, but 280 amazing people. The Irish are an unbelievable scream to work with on a, on a, on a big project in a building site like this. And when you see 
the children in their home environments, in their school. It really does warm your heart to see their big, happy, smiley faces and the impact that you're making. It's been a privilege and an honour to be here as part of this project this week. This has been an incredible week for us as a charity. A phenomenal effort that exceeded even our biggest expectation. And in a moment now, we're going to open this classroom. And it's not the end, it's the beginning of another chapter. Because our teachers, the new teachers that your money has raised, will be starting in this school in January. And you haven't just built a classroom. You are placing the foundations of a bright future for these children.